So ticker tape. Eh? Uh, this is this is a ticker tape. Okay. So how it work? Eh? How it work? Um, sorry. Uh, this ticker tape. Okay. First, it must be connected to an alternating current. Okay, alternating current. Eh? Uh, when you switch it on, so this is the vibrator. The vibrator will vibrate. Yeah, the vibrator will vibrate, and then some. Then we have a carbon paper. Uh, this is a carbon paper. Okay, this one to look like this is a carbon paper. Okay, and then so when this vibrator vibrates, okay, at this uh, at this at the end of this vibrator here. Okay, there is a pin. There's a pin. Okay, so when the vibrator vibrate, it will hit on this uh, take a tape. This this long paper. This is a paper. Okay, yeah, this long paper is called a take a tape. So when the pin hit on the paper and the paper hit on the carbon. This is a carbon paper. The carbon paper will leave a mark on this uh, take a tape. Okay, it will leave a mark on this take a tape. Uh, and if we pull this ticker tape, then uh, it will it will leave a series of mark on the ticker tape. Eh? Okay, uh, then uh, the mark on the ticker tapes will look something like this. Eh? There's a dot. Okay, there's a dot on the this is a paper. Okay, so by studying the distributions of the dot on the paper, this paper is called a ticker tape. Eh? So by studying the uh, <clears throat> the distributions of the dot on this uh, take a tape, uh, then we know the the types of motions. Okay, uh, we can also use it to uh, find the velocities of the motion and also the accelerations of the motions. Okay, so the vibrator vibrate it hit on the take a tape and leaving a mark on the take a tape. Okay, uh, so that's how we work. Now there are. Uh, a few things that you need to know about the ticker tape. First, uh, it must be connected to an alternating current. If it's connected to direct currents, then it won't vibrate. Yeah, so it must be connected to an alternating current. Uh, make sure that you know this uh, because uh, this is also a very uh, a famous question in your test or exam. Okay, and second, the frequency of the alternating current is fifty hertz. That means that uh, the ticker tape will vibrate fifty times in one second. Uh. 50 hertz means 50 times in one second. Okay, vibrations, uh, 50 times in one second. 50 times in one second. So that's 50 hertz. 